This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1131, Carry the Weight, by Tynan of Tynan.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your personal narrator, reading to you every day, including holidays. And this episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators, and they have over 25,000 classes in design, business, and more, perfect for the new year. And I have a special offer just for you. Get two months of Skillshare for free. That's right, Skillshare is offering Optimal Living Daily listeners two months of unlimited access to over 25,000 classes for free. To sign up, go to skillshare.com old. That's skillshare.com old to start your two months now. For now, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Carry the Weight by Tynan of Tynan.com. For most of my life, at least until my late 20s, I was a slacker. I did almost nothing to help around the house, choosing to procrastinate on things assigned to me until someone else just did it themselves because that was easier than goading me into doing it. Even in friendships, I would rely on my good friends to come up with plans or invite me somewhere, and then I'd join. The only reason I got into college was because my best friend at the time, Phil, pushed me into filling out an application. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. There were exceptions, of course, but in general, I was probably a burden. I was a good friend and family member in other ways, but in terms of carrying the weight of those relationships, I wasn't putting in my fair share. It's embarrassing to say that, but it's true. A couple years back, Todd wasn't as invested in set as I was. We had started it as a side project, but it seemed like there was enough potential that it was worth going full time. I wanted to do so, but Todd's priorities were elsewhere, so he worked a lot less than me. If Set was going to continue, I would have to take full responsibility for it. I remember crystallizing the decision down very clearly. I could either decide that I would carry all of the weight for Set, or I could do what was fair, which would result in Set stalling. Put in that context, it wasn't that difficult of a choice. I decided that I would carry all of the weight no matter what. So for a while, I carried all of the weight for set. I felt resentment from time to time, but overall, it was a surprisingly good experience. I liked the responsibility. I felt myself become stronger and more disciplined. I gave myself a chance to rise to a challenge, and I met it. I even felt good that I was working for Todd, carrying some weight for him when he couldn't or wouldn't. He's certainly done that for me any number of times during our friendship. Sometimes all it takes to change yourself is to try out a new mindset once. You see that it's better and you can't imagine going back. That's what happened with me in carrying weight. I decided that in all cases, I would carry whatever weight needed to be carried. As I've written about before, my friends and I bought an island. One friend, Elliot, and I came up with the idea and then I did almost all of the legwork to make it actually happen. People asked me if I would get to make all the rules or own more of the island because of that, but I never thought of it that way. 10 of us put in our money, so it's all of ours. If I can put in some work to make it happen, then I'm happy to be able to do that for my friends. Four of us went up and started clearing a path up to the top of the hill, which is backbreaking work. Literally, one guy had to rest his back for a whole day. People cautioned me that with such a large group, it'd be hard to get everyone to put in equal effort to make it fair. I didn't see it like that at all though. Getting to do hard work that benefits people I'm close to is a privilege. If I didn't have so many friends who are also eager to carry weight, I'd be happy to carry it all and do all of the work myself. Even on the small scale now, I try to do little chores whenever I can. If I'm staying at someone's place and their dishes are dirty, I'll wash them. If friends and I are going on a trip, I'll do whatever planning needs to be done. I don't say any of this to make myself seem like a saint, by the way. If anything, I realize that I'm late to the party and I know that I'm still trailing behind most of my friends who have been carrying some of my share since I can remember. The small silver lining of only making this change recently is that I may have a lucid enough perspective on it to share. When you carry all of the weight, you make other people's lives better. You also make your own life better in both predictable and unpredictable ways. You develop strength and confidence, knowing that although you can work with others and accept their help, you can also manage a lot by yourself if you have to. You build discipline. You become the kind of person that gets invited to everything because no one has to worry about carrying weight for you. You feel a sense of pride knowing that you're providing for others. Be willing to carry all of the weight. 
When you see a situation where someone needs to step up and put in extra effort, be that person. Maybe you already are. But if you're like I used to be and you wait for someone else to take care of it, try caring more than you're used to. I bet you'll like it more than you think. You just listened to the post titled Carry the Weight by Tynan of Tynan.com. And thank you again to Skillshare. They have a great learning community. This podcast is all about personal growth and online courses has been one of the best ways I've continued to learn. And I love that Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. With more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more, you'll discover countless ways to fuel your curiosity, creativity, and career. That includes social media marketing, mobile photography, creative writing, illustration, and a lot more, perfect for your New Year's goals. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for my listeners. Get two months of Skillshare for free. That's two months of unlimited access to over 25,000 classes for free just for being an OLD listener. To sign up, go to Skillshare.com old. That's Skillshare.com old to start your two months now. Skillshare.com old. That should do it for today. Hope you're having a great day. And I'll be back tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.